At age 17, Calgarian Leslie Ann Scorgi appeared on the Oprah Winfrey Show describing a plan as to how we could be wealthy by age 30. Now, Scorgi has written her third book, Helping Women Specifically Manage Their Money. And while she's also had a successful financial analyst uh, in the energy industry, her new book is called Well Healed, The Smart Girl's Guide to Getting Rich. I love it. Check it out. <laughs> and uh, very, very appealing to the eye, I have to say. And the information in it is fantastic. Let's talk about the difference between men and women and why you geared this specifically towards women. There's some interesting trends that are happening specifically with younger women right now. For example, uh, what they're doing is they're actually outpacing their male counterparts in terms of their spending and they're also accumulating very high levels of debt. Now when you combine that with the fact that they still make less than their male counterparts for doing the same jobs, and they're largely underprepared for retirement, um, they just seem to be more financially illiterate. And stats are now showing that we have to close the gap so that younger women in particular can better prepare themselves for the future. So when I was looking at uh, putting together Well Healed, I wanted to put together fun information that would attract women mm -hmm. to the subject. Um, they're also largely overlooked by professional financial planners right. as, a, as an entire segment and I just happen to think that's wrong and uh, so Well Healed is targeted to closing that gap. Well let's start with you. I mean how did you become so financially literate at such a young age and what are we missing in the system? Um, I happen to just have a personal interest and it was it was rooted in the fact that when I was growing up we didn't have very much money mm -hmm. so some of it was like fear-based motivation, which isn't necessarily the <laughs> best motivation. I think there's more positive ways that we can um, start talking to children early on, like mm. in the school system, about saving money. I happened to luck out with some really awesome mentors, including my mom and dad, who helped you know coach me with basic financial information. And once I started saving my money and realizing, oh, that's look look at what I can create, mm -hmm. uh, it, it kind of got hooked on it. Well, and, and, you know, I had great role models in my parents, but I actually didn't listen to them. So <laughs> this book is great for people like me. I'm, I'm very much in the situation where I think I'm, I'm definitely spending more than I should be. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I like uh, in your approach is you're, you're shifting the language a little bit. Mm -hmm. You talk about sort of dropping the word cheap and using the word frugal instead. Yeah. Is that what we have to do? We have to kind of shift our I the think, way we speak about it? I think so. I mean, we have to focus on the positive. And there's no need to be a cheapskate. Cheapskates are the people that show up for dinners without um, anything to offer, right? And um, that's, that's certainly not what I promote. I promote frugality. So mm -hmm. maximizing the, the value of what you're paying for. So, you know, if I go out and I buy a dress, I'm going to try and get it on sale, but I'll still able to be able to have that dress or, or whatever it is, a house, a car, a dress. Uh, for women, it's all about, I guess, embracing a f like the frugal fundamentals is what I call that mm -hmm. in the book and just being okay and comfortable with, with uh, spending within your budget. And what are some of the other uh, mistakes that perhaps women specifically tend to make? Well, I think they don't stand up for themselves as often as they should for their income in their careers. So often they're, they're not the ones like tooting their horn at work saying, look at what I was able to accomplish and the value that I added. Mm -hmm. And so they're often overlooked for raises and promotions. And then when you layer that on with, um, you know, if they choose to have a family or whatnot, sometimes women's careers can fall behind. And so too does their income. So my, my advice to women is absolutely ask for what you deserve at work, but also consider the option of being an entrepreneur on the side. Um, young women are the fastest growing segment of entrepreneurs and they're doing a fantastic job at creating more jobs and value for, for our economy. And spoken by somebody who knows exactly that. Leslie Ann Scorgi, Well Healed is the name of the book, The Smart Girl's Guide to Getting Rich, available now. More information and links at breakfasttelevision.ca. Don't wait so long to come back next time. It's really nice to see you. Thanks for having me on.